then we started a convention uh, in New York. At the last minute, one of the promoters that had been doing conventions in New York couldn't make the show, so my, myself and a couple of my friends got together at the last minute. We kind of saved the day and ran a convention that was being canceled that weekend. And we called it the church con. It was in the basement of the church. Really? So, yeah, 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 it was really cool. Wow. Say, Paul the Apostle, have you been to New York? I haven't been to New York. I'll be going the first time this year in October. So I'm looking forward to it. You might have to visit the home of the first Big Apple convention, which was St. Paul Church. Oh my goodness. Yeah, beautiful church on the west side of Manhattan, 59th Street and 9th Avenue. And we did that, and uh, then I ended up doing that for a dozen years, and all kinds of stories along the way. And sold that to Wizard a year, about a year ago, and now they're running an even bigger Big Apple convention, which is what we call it. And about 10 years ago, I joined up with some friends of mine at Neat Stuff Collectibles, and we formed a company, and I've been traveling around the country buying comics. Uh, so, um, so, what does your comic collection look like? Mm, this is it. <laughs> All this is this it? This is it. What I buy is what I collect. I'll show you a couple of things I bought this weekend. This is actually kind of interesting. Oh, this wow. is a key book in the world of comics. This is the reintroduction of the superheroes in the 50s. Like um, the comics had gone, like the superheroes from the 40s that were, they were selling millions of. When the war ended, the comic book superheroes kind of lost fashion with things, and the comics went back to horror and humor and other things. Then in the mid 50s, they it reintroduced, they brought the Flash back and reintroduced him in the showcase comics. And this started it. And five years later, they started the Marvel Age of Comics, which was the Fantastic Four and Spider Man all that stuff. So that's part of my collection since I bought it. And this is a, a, um, a chopped up, or could you call bastardized version of Detective 27. <laughs> okay. The first Batman. It's missing a first page, but it's got part of the interior, and it's a million dollar comic book in high grade. And this is maybe 75% of the book. And this is worth maybe six or seven thousand dollars as it is. And this flash was about a five thousand dollar comic. So, these are new things for my collection until I sell them and then I'll buy something else. Awesome. Actually, I just started doing some like invested Jack Kirby art. Really? Yeah, original art from the Marvel comics. I just bought an original page from Thor 112, which is a Thor Hulk battle issue.